Hi, my name is Diane San Miguel, and today I'll be talking about ArcFlash Custom Labels, which is a new feature in ETAB 7.1. As you may know, labels are the end result of ArcFlash studies. Many labels need to be customized according to different regulations or even standards, such as CSA Z462, which is a Canadian standard, NFPA 70E, NEC, ANSI Z535, and so on. Unfortunately, NFPA 70E has not standardized on any t label template, and thus there will be different interpretations of the same content. There are two methods on how to create ArcFlash labels. First, standard labels. Standard labels are currently in ETAP 7.1. These templates are created based on a software called Crystal Reports. The second method is custom labels, which is the new feature of ETAP 7.1 and will be discussed in more detail later on in this presentation. There are three ways on how to create standard labels. First, the bus editor. Second, the report manager. And lastly, the ArcFlash report analyzer. Standard labels can be created from the bus editor. By going onto your one-line diagram and double-clicking on a bus, you can navigate to the ArcFlash page. From there, there's a section called TCC Plot slash Print Label. There will be a drop-down menu on the bottom right-hand corner, which will indicate the size and the template you'd wish to print. To the left of that feature, there are two radio buttons, one for Calculated and one for User Defined. Please note, when selecting Calculated, the results listed in the Calculate session of this window we print it on the label. And, vice versa, if the user defined radio button is selected, then the user defined results will be printed onto the label. Secondly, standard labels can be created from the report manager. When running an ArcFlash study, you can select the report where you wish to print your ArcFlash labels. From there, there is a button right below the red bell or the alert view and it's called Report Manager. There are four tabs in the Report Manager that have labels. These four tabs indicate each language that we provide. One for Portuguese, one for Spanish, one for English, and one for French. Lastly, standard labels can be created using the ArcFlash Report Analyzer. This is The ArcFlash Report Analyzer is a new feature in ETAP 7.0. You can highlight the cells of your choice, or the equipment of your choice, and select Standard Label, which is the button located in the bottom right-hand corner. From there, you also have the selection of choosing your language of your choice, and the template and size. Now, I'm going to show you how you can create custom labels. Once again, when you run your studies, navigate to the ArcFlash Report Analyzer. From there, you would select the cells of your choice, just like printing standard label, but instead highlight the cells and select custom label button. This diagram demonstrates on what ETAP does in the background. So for example, on the top you've selected the cells or the equipment that you would like to print your custom labels for, then select the custom label button. Once you've selected the custom label button, an open window dialog box will appear. From there, you can select any template of your choice and press Open. Once pressing Open, an Excel database or a custom label database will be generated in the background and will be located in your Project ETAP 7.1 directory. From there, this label database will be dynamically connected to the template that you just opened. Now I'll begin using ETAP 7.1 to demonstrate on how you can create custom labels. Notice that I have a project shown here. I've created two configurations, one for normal, and the second is generator offline. Once I select generator offline configuration, notice that CB4 opens. Now I will utilize the scenario wizard, which is located on the left toolbar, Notice I have created four different cases. 
the first case, I'll be running ArcFlash with a normal configuration and showing maximum short circuit contributions. The second case, I'll be running ArcFlash with normal configuration and minimum short circuit contributions. The third case, I'll be running ArcFlash with the generator offline and showing maximum short circuit contributions. And last but not least, I'll be using case 4 running ArcFlash with generator offline using minimum short circuit contributions. So instead of running each scenario individually, I'm going to go ahead and utilize the study wizard, which is the button directly below the scenario wizard. I'm going to go ahead and run my study. And notice that all four cases are run within a click of a button. Once that has been completed, I'm going to select OK and navigate to the ArcFlash Report Analyzer. From there, I've noticed that all my reports have been created based on my four cases that I ran. These are the individual results for each case and the results for all the buses. Now I'm going to go ahead and filter the results showing the worst case incident energy. Now I'm going to filter and sort by category just to show each location. I'm going to highlight my cells that I want to select custom labels for and then navigate to the custom label button which is on the bottom right hand corner. Notice that the open dialog box has been generated. Here are a series of templates that we've provided. Notice that each template has a number. This indicates the size of the label that's, that we currently created. The second is a description of the header. For example, this, shown here, has a blank header. And over here, this one selects so shows the danger header. Now notice that there's a backup folder located on the top. I want to go ahead and double click that. And as you can see, there are a series of templates. These templates are the exact duplicates of the ones shown previously. This is ensure that in case you override the templates that we provide, there will be a backup folder just in case. Now I'm going to go ahead and select 4x6 warning header and select open. Notice a message pops up which says, please wait, Arc Flash Report Analyzer is generating a custom label database. What ETEP is doing is creating an Arc Flash custom label database or an Excel database and it will be located in your ETAP 7.1 folder. Once the database has been created, it will dynamically link to the template that I've just opened. Please wait patiently for ETAP to generate the custom label database. Now, my 4x6 warning header template has been created. Please note that I'll be using Microsoft 2007 for the custom label feature. It is recommended to use Microsoft 2007 Word. Now, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to all the results, which is located up on the top toolbar. These arrows will help me navigate to all the results that I've selected in my Arc Flash Report Analyzer. So for example, I selected about 10 buses and therefore these 10 buses or results will be shown here. Once I'm satisfied with the results, I'm going to go ahead and select Finish and Merge. Then Edit Individual Documents and then click Merge Records for All. Notice that there are two documents now created. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to show you 
that there are these are all the templates that I've created based on the selection I made on the Arc Flash Report Analyzer. I'm going to view it to show all the different results. Now this document can be sent to your clients and printed to any ArcFlash label printer. Now I'm going to show you how to add a logo to the ArcFlash label template. As you can see on the left side of your screen there's a document that has a picture embedded into the document. To easily place the picture, right click on the picture and make sure that the text wrapping is selected as in front of text so it's easier to place in the template. I will show you an example on how to do so. First, notice that I have my logo, which is in a blank document located on my left screen. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that picture, text wrapping, and verify that it's selected as in front of text. Now I'm going to go ahead and right click and select copy. Then I'm going to go to my Arc Flash Label template, select an area, copy, paste, and move it down to the area of my choice. I'm going to go ahead and resize. Another useful tip is to use your keyboard. There are errors on your keyboard which allows you to move up and down and left to right. Once highlighting the picture, you can use those arrows to slightly move down to give it a more accurate spacing. Once you're satisfied with your picture, go ahead and select Finish and Merge, Edit Individual Documents, and Merge All Records. Notice once again that I have all my labels with my logo on it. Now I'm going to show you how to update text. As you can see on the left screen, I've highlighted certain text and I could change the font, the size, or even the color of my text. On the right, there's a template that I've shown you that indicates that I have deleted the PPE requirements and increased the font size of the hazard category. Now I'm going to show you how to do so. First, I'm going to go ahead and highlight minimum PPE requirements and notice there's a box around this. This is a text box. I've inserted a text box and then inserted my field so that it's easier to format my label accordingly. I'm going to go ahead and delete and I use delete on my keyboard. Next, I'm going to select the hazard category text box and use my arrows on my keyboard to scroll down to center it. Once I've centered it the way I liked it, I'm going to increase the text box just a bit and highlight zero. Now I want to change the font by increasing it to 24. Also, I would like to make sure that the category does stand out, so I'm going to change it to have a red color. Once I'm finished, I click out, and there you can see that I have changed my hazard category to have a bigger number with a different color font. Now, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this text, and I'm going to right click and unbold it, since I don't like it being bold. Go ahead and click out of that, and there you go. Now to print this for a client, I'm going to go ahead and select Finish and Merge, Edit Individual Documents, Merge Records All, and show you that it applies to all the labels
In ETAP 7.1, we provide several templates, including CS AZ462 arc flash labels. Also, we do provide another template which shows no HRC or no hazard risk category arc flash labels. As you can see, we provide analysis expiration date and also the minimum PPE ATPV EPT rating. There's also a disclaimer at the bottom. Here are some of the samples that we provide in ETAP 7.1. I'd like to thank you very much for attending this presentation. And if you have any further questions, please call our support line or email us at support at My name is Diane San Miguel, and thank you so much for attending.